Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for the second half of your July from the 16th to the 31st. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. Okay, switch the world if you want keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective virgo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular so if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies i suggest you to book a personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when i go live also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too. Okay, so tell me about um, tell me about Virgo, Virgo, Virgo and love. What's going on with Virgo and love and the person that they are connecting with here for the second half of their July, from the sixteenth to the thirty first. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. Okay, Virgo. Ten of Wands here. The Queen of Wands. Seems like you're overwhelmed here. You're feeling burdened by someone here. Someone here is feeling burdened by you. Like I said, you can switch roles if you want. But with the Queen of Wands, yeah, with Queen of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I just feel like someone here is feeling very burdened. This is interesting because I feel like this person that you're dealing with is a huge problem. And I feel like this person is dumping all their stuff onto you. And I feel like you're kind of like taking responsibility for this person's problems here. And it's not your responsibility here. You can't take on other people's stuff, other people's baggage here, because when you do that, you're actually inflicting karma on yourself here, Virgo. So you gotta be careful here. Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, we have the Chariot here, Cancer Energy, and the Eight of Wands here. You're definitely receiving communication from somebody here. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like you're about to receive a boatload of communication from this individual, and I feel like it, it could overwhelm you here. Whoever this is, this is an individual that's not on the same level here as you. Uh, you know, I feel like you made a decision to release this person, okay? Uh, and things with this person here, the Death card, Scorpio energy with the Eight of Swords here, you know, I just feel like you felt really stuck or that you felt this, like, heavy, fearful energy here. And I feel like you couldn't really figure out what it was, but I feel like you might have realized that it was coming from the person that you were dealing with here. It seems like whoever this is, this is an individual that's looking for reconciliation here. This is an individual that does not want to let you go. Whoever this is, I do feel like this person could be at a distance here from you. Well, this person is trying to suck you back into their craziness here. This person has unfinished business here with you. Whoever this is, I do feel like this person is very dark. Um, dark energetically and I feel like this person's energy is incredibly heavy I feel like you felt very weighed down by this person and I feel like once you release this person I feel like you felt a sigh of relief here but I feel like you're feeling this person's energy you're feeling like you're getting you're sensing that this person's coming back because the energy is so heavy okay uh, the devil Capricorn energy here tell me about the person that Virgo is dealing with here now even though you release this person maybe you completely forgot about, about this person you don't care about this person anymore the reason why this person could be coming into your energy is because this person is thinking about you because there is some sort of association there is a tie that you ha guys had so you know even though you know this is someone that you separated with, from this person is still kind of like in your soul family you know uh, because you guys have done this in multiple lifetimes and then you guys are doing that again in this lifetime so there is a connection here you know it, it's one of the reasons why that you reasons why you met uh, but you know each uh, person that you meet in life you know it comes with a lesson right so I feel like you've learned your lessons here but this person is definitely thinking about you I don't feel like you're thinking about this person here but the the fear the anxiety the heaviness that you're feeling 
feeling, you're just getting the sense that your 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 intuition is picking up that the person's coming back. Okay, um, tell me about the person that Virgo is dealing with here. What is this person's tr a true feelings and intentions towards Virgo? We have judgment here, Sagittarius energy, and the Ten of Cups. You see, this person's looking to reconcile here with you. They want to rekindle this relationship. Yeah, you, you you know that it's coming. You just know that it's coming. Okay, um, we have the Two of Cups here, and this yeah, whoever this is, wow. This person has cheated on you before. This person's trying to sneak their way back into their into your life, even if they have to lie about it. Even though they had to, even if they have to lie about, uh, you know, oh, you know, they had an epiphany, they had an awakening, which I feel like this person didn't. They, they'll lie about that in order for them to come back into your life. The Knight of Pentacles here and the Moon. Look at that. This person has a dark side here. Yeah. So I feel like this person's definitely bringing this along with them. You see. Yeah, so I feel like this person has not changed at all here, Virgo. Knight of Pentacles in the moon. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the moon, Cancer, Pisces, Judgment here, and the King of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Hierophant here. Seems like this person's coming in to rekindle this. They want to propose marriage here, okay? They want to propose marriage here. I mean, you might have been married to this person at one point. Maybe they're, they want it again. You might have two children here, one older and one younger here. Okay, I don't feel like they're in close age to each other. I feel like one is like, you know, maybe in their 20s, another one is like a teenager. Okay, the Two of Cups here and the Seven of Cups. Seven of Swords. And this, yeah, this person's trying to come back. You know that they're coming back. You could sense it. Your sixth sense is picking up that they're coming back. Your intuition is picking up that they're coming back. You might even be getting visions about this. You might be even dreaming about this here. The Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The Moon here and the Queen of Swords. You want nothing to do with this individual. Look how this person's chasing you. Like, <laughs> you don't want anything to do with this individual here. You're, you're, you're done with this individual. Yeah, you might be seeing this in your dreams or you're, you're, that you're watching this in, uh, play out in your dreams here too. So let's see, tell me about the outcome and advice here for Virgo regarding the love situation. What else does Virgo need to know, look out for, work on here for the second half of their July from the 16th to the 31st. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Queen of Pentacles here and the pa this person will not give up. Look at that. Look. <laughs> this person's like, come on. And you're like, no. All right, both Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. Did I see a King of Pentacles here? No, I didn't. Okay, I thought there was a King of Pentacles here. Uh, we have the Six of Pentacles. Uh, this person's annoying the crap out of you here. This person's not going to stop. Yeah, somehow, you know, somehow you might have disappeared from this person's life. And I feel, and I feel like the somehow this person found you. It's almost like psycho. Yeah, I don't know if this person was like reaching out to your mutual friends, reaching out to like people that you knew, asked them where you were, you know. Um, yeah, I heard psycho, psycho, okay. Um, let's see, three of wands here and temperance. I feel like you're strong enough to handle this here. Yeah, I just get the sense that you keep avoiding this person here, <laughs> Virgo. Uh, I, I keep getting the, the image of the um, the the Roadrunner thing, the um, the cartoon, you know, beep beep, and then the Roadrunner is like running, you know. Um, let's see, tell me about Temperance here, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and the Four of Swords here. Yeah, you're completely just ignoring this person. Yeah, I just feel like you're just you're such in a good place. You're handling in a Handling this in a much better way, you know, perhaps in the past, you know, when this person came back, you gave this person a chance, but I just feel like, you know, you might be shocking this person. Yeah, you might be shocking this person here. The Nine of Swords and the Two of Wands, now they're like, oh my God, what am I going to do now? Virgo's not talking to me. Virgo doesn't want me. I thought that Virgo would take me back, but they were wrong. Page of Pentacles here and the Strength card, Queen of Pentacles here and the Wheel of Fortune. Seems like it's almost like an energy that you're getting the last laugh here, Virgo. Yeah, you're getting the last laugh here. Yeah, because I feel like this person's definitely experiencing karma by you doing this. You know, I just feel like you're remaining in your power here. You're remaining strong, firm in your boundaries. 
okay? So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.